hey what is going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm chris this is pnw rc madness all right guys so i got my creighton 8 version 1 it's pretty highly upgraded and we were running all stock driveline uh, from the beginning we're even running this 980 motor with the xlx2 and we finally bent a stock axle all right so check this out guys i do sell these on my website they are the gpm makx 181f dash rs dash bk these are super thick super beefy i actually run these on my xrt as well and they've been holding up super awesome and the outdrives i have in stock as well uh, on my xrt the outdrives have been holding up so i don't expect any less from these so let's go ahead throw them on the truck and i'm going to show you guys what they look like in the dirt and that'll be that let's go <laughs> all those screws out you just go ahead and kind of tug on it and it should just work its way right off and there you go got your diff make sure you keep track of your shims there it is there's the old out drives pretty worn out we're gonna go ahead and show you the new axles and the new out drives all right, check it out. There is the stock diff and look at that. There's the outdrives, pretty worn out. And looking at that, there was no oil in there whatsoever. And I actually loved the way the truck handled. So we're gonna go ahead and just refill that with 5K. This is actually team associated oil, just to put something in there and yeah. But looking at everything, all the wear looks good, except for those outdrives. And those are five years old almost. So let's go ahead and swap those out and reinstall. All right, quick tip guys, in order to get your sun gear out, you're gonna wanna grab some pliers, reach in there and you can pull that out. Then you're gonna wanna get the outdrive out and you're not gonna be able to pull the pin out. So on the side of the case, there's actually a grub screw. And I like to just pull that pin right out of the grub screw hole. Check this out guys, we got the diff parts all cleaned up and we got the rear diff axles out and I forgot that these are Vitavon. So let me show you the difference between those and the stock. You can see there's a little bit of a difference in size. So these are the fronts. These were the rears. And then these are the GPM. All right, there you, go. there you go. Come with your little grub screws. Now look at that. Even compared to the Vitavon, I'll go ahead and give you a measurement there. Okay, let's go ahead and measure up the GPM. These bad boys are just about seven millimeters, seven millimeters. M's are six point one two. Stock is about five and a half or so. So another good look at the GPM axles, and then I'll go ahead and grab the outdrives. Show you those as well. All right, there they are. There are the GPM outdrives. They look super nice, they feel super nice, and I believe they're gonna hold up just like the ones on the XRT. So let's go ahead, build this diff up, and get out in the dirt.
Alright, I'll slow down here, this is where you stick your pin back in. Nothing there just to come up about the cross rings in there, you'd be good to go. Nice fresh rebuild diff. Don't forget to reinsert your screw. Screw the back, just swing your back on, and other down with some hardware. go. As you're putting your axles back together and all this stuff, assembling all that, when you go to install this grub screw, just apply a little bit of Loctite on it. And you're not gonna wanna put a super large amount of pressure when you're installing this screw because this will bind up your bearings and cause them to burn out. So, just a quick tip. Make sure not to tighten this one down too tight. And you'll make your bearings gritty and they won't spin right. All right, Let's see how this goes, guys. Here we go. Not bad. Let's do it again. That's pretty good. Nice. I think something broke. Yep, we broke the shock mount, guys. Dang it! Let's go ahead, go home, take her home, check out those axles, and that'll be that. All right, check it out, guys. We got like 10 minutes tops at the park. Trucks felt super smooth. It drove super awesome. I'm totally digging the 4K in the front diff. I believe I put only one million in the center. I can't remember. I'll definitely do another video on that uh, soon. But guys, our run did in short. Like always, we break a shock rod end. Thankfully, we didn't lose the spring this time and somehow it just pulled right off. So it broke and it pulled right off. But I do notice that the axles are not bent. There is nowhere, I know it was 10 minutes, but guys, the ones on my XRT are holding up awesome. So I expect these to do the same. You can definitely find these on my website. I will leave a link in the description below, but it is www.pnwrcmanus.com. Thanks for watching the channel, guys. Please do hit that subscribe button, show me some love, and hit up my website, and I will catch you guys later. Whoosh.